But I wanted to talk a little bit about the show because people who listen to the show quite often will know that John's not always here. Uh, no, but I would also like to point out, no, I'm not always here. But but there, there was a good re- there's been good reasons why I haven't been here for the last uh, couple of months, and and I've been very ill. I bet you don't say that on it. I've been very. I've been. Well, I don't say. I've been very ill, so there has been good reasons. When Will's away, there's not really a good reason <laughs> why he's away. Well, I'm, I'm going to be. I'm going to be away next week. I'm going to be in Kendall, and John was just saying what a nice place Kendall is, no, and how I, he understands I, no, I why said, I would be in Kendall. No, I said. What, what a horrible place, Kendall. What? No. What t- is that what, what you said? What a terrible place. What? It is. What? And, it's a, what? and it's a place for old people. And it's a place for <laughs> holiday makers. And Wheels bought a house up there. And I really disagree with it. He should stay at Exeter at all times and not go to Kendall at all. Oh. Seeing as you wanted to talk about the workings of this show, the show has to be missed next week because he's not here. So every time he goes off on his heroics, I have to. I ha- it messes up my week. So that's why I'm moaning about it. Yes. Okay. Well, um, a while ago, I mentioned a book called "Thank You for Being Late." Yeah, but that was years ago. It was years ago, but I've mentioned it a few times. Because it do, it does happen. Well, John, today you were early. You were here before the show started. Yeah. Which was pretty good. Yeah. But you'd warned me that, that because of the buses and everything, you might be a little bit late. Mm-hmm. Um, I managed to get a lift, sir. So. You got a lift. Mm-hmm. So, which is good. Mm-hmm. But um, what, I'm, what I'm getting at is that, because we've, we've also, as it happens, got a pre-recorded show in the background on the, on the system. So, which we might fade in. When, round about... 10-2 or something like that we'll fade that we'll fade that in um, but what I'm explaining to the, the listeners is that for various reasons for for foreseen and unforeseen circumstances one or the other of us might not be here so there might not be a live show but there will be bits and pieces from previously but I don't I don't think that matters because we we often say the same sort of thing that we've said before only slightly differently yeah, only because you like to ask the same questions in different ways, and it gets on people's nerves. And you don't. And, so, and you so give don't. an example of that, then. John. <sighs> well, when you went to Tech Exeter, they yeah. wouldn't ask. They wouldn't ask. They wouldn't answer your question. And when you complained, um, and when you complained about about the bus stop, nobody was that interested. And 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 and, and, and nobody's interested when you ask the same when you ask the same question but in different ways well john all right let me let me deal with can i deal with those in two in two parts yes my question at tech exeter which was at the business school was when are universities going to stop investing in buildings and start investing in platforms yeah because i noticed that futurelearn found it very 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 hard to raise any money from uk universities other than the open university but they probably i thought that was a reasonable question and I shall come back to that. They probably didn't know the answer themselves. Well, well. That's probably why you didn't get a straight answer, or they just didn't want to answer you. No, but um, we'll come back to it, because if they're going to have a centre for online learning and more online courses, and eventually there will be, there will be evidence and the way you that go- they don't need all the buildings. And the way you go on about artificial robots is, yeah. is another question. Yeah. You ask the same question, you get the same answer, you, and then, because, because you want to ask the question again, you ask it in different ways, and it yes. can annoy some people. Well, it but that's what, that's what we're... That's, John, the, we, it's called the We Don't Know show. It's not that we, we like not knowing. We, we have a curiosity. <sighs> Don't we? Yeah, but you have a curiosity about a lot of things. Well, you, you're also cu- well, you're not curious about exactly the same things. No. Anyway, thank because you for being I'm, late. Uh, what? No, I, carry on, John. Because I'm from a different generation than you are. That's true. Um, different situation. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm disabled when you're not. That's true. Um. Uh. Yeah. But you've had a very successful career, and I haven't. Well, you've you have a career of a sort, John. 
I have a career of sort, but I don't have a career that I that I really want. So, so I'm just saying, you've had a very successful career by being a quality manager, and I haven't. No, all right. Well, that's true. So, well, uh, that's so we can what, talk about that. That's what I'm trying to tell the audience. Right. Okay. But look, can we also tell the audience that this is live at the moment, but <laughs> next week it might be just pre-recorded, or somebody else might turn up. But don't right. worry about it, because there's several We Not Know shows on um, Spreaker, I think. It, no, is it Spreaker? Mixcloud. Right. Mixcloud. Right. Uh, complete shows. And the good bits are on YouTube. If you look for We Not Know on, on YouTube, you can find what we've been saying. And yes, you will find the same question in various ways. Let's say. So I wasn't wrong, was I? No, not wrong, John, no. But, um... Well, I'll expand on it a little bit. I mean, well, look, put it, put it this way. If I go into um, comparing it with the music industry, do, would you agree with me that the, the, the space needed for record shops is a lot less now than it used to be? Yes, but I told you that would happen back in 2014. And you said, oh, yeah, well, it, well, it, well, it won't. Well, it well it has. The the yeah the space for record shops is a lot less needed. So why wouldn't education be the same? Why is Exeter full of student accommodation? Oh, for Christ's sake! It's because they make a lot of money out of it. That's why. Ah, oh. and a lot of and a lot of people want to come to Exeter to study. But if you're thinking of building something, presumably you think the building's going to last for twenty years. So what's going to happen over 20 years? I would say more like... Well, more and more people are going to use it. And then as, build, as buildings age, they become less useful, don't they? Well, they might do, but, the, but you'd think... The question, the qu the question of wh whether this online learning stuff is sort of urgent, or whether it's just a marginal thing you can do on the edges in the summertime and not worry about too much i th i think it's w well anyway yeah if you if you if you listeners what we're saying is we'll pr we probably we will ask this question again in some form or another my colleague here's understanding <laughs> that we won't get an answer <laughs> but that's all right uh, or you can probably find a very similar conversation from some time before yeah, well, we are unique. We're, 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 well, we're, uh, yeah, we're unusual as a radio show because oh. um, some of it changes week by week, but a lot of it stays the same. <laughs>